Actually, my first memory about music was not wanting to play it because I was sort of forced by my mom. Of course, I uh, thanked her profusely later on in my life for forcing my brother and sister and I to take piano lessons. And I remember the guy who taught, taught us piano, he basically would come and sit us down at the piano and give us a, uh, like an exercise to do. And then he would disappear and walk into the kitchen, get a sandwich, <laughs> and then come back. He had the best gig. He just went house to house eating sandwiches. Meanwhile, I was uh, trying to understand and, and connect with this big, huge piece of wood, this piano, and I just never really connected with it. I'm very grateful that my mom forced us to, to take piano lessons because the piano is still now, even though I play the saxophone, it's still the basis of how I look at music from, from that main, the main perspective of how I see music is through the piano because it's got multiple, um, multiple voices. The saxophone is just one voice. Uh, but I did it for a few years and then I rebelled probably when I was about 10 um, and I, I took up the drum set which I thought would be, that's more like mine, uh, what I wanted to express myself or how I wanted to express myself. And I was even worse than the drums. I mean, it was just embarrassing. In fact, there was a time when my dad um, came to pick me up from my drum lesson. He had uh, a little moment with the drum teacher and I was you know, with an earshot, and, and the drum teacher said to my dad, you know, you might want to think about sports for Dave because it's just not going to happen with the drums. And I was crushed. I heard this, and this was now my second instrument that I was failing at. And I thought, okay, you know, music is not for me. Sports was not going to be for me either, but I hadn't quite figured out what I was going to attach myself to. And then it was in the seventh grade, I was 13 now, that I picked up the saxophone for the first time, really as... It was, I credit it with my brother giving me the idea uh, because my brother at the time, he and his friends had this band that was playing weddings and bar mitzvahs and fraternity parties and that kind of thing. And they didn't have a sax player and this was the time when every pop song, I mean every pop song that you heard on the radio had a sax solo. So they had to have a sax player and they didn't. I wanted to be in that band more than anything and my brother was like, you're never getting in this band. I'm sorry, it's never gonna happen. And one day he let it slip that the only way that I could get in the band, um, gain entry, was if I played the sax. So that was like all I heard. I didn't hear the part about you're never getting in the band. I heard the part, play the saxophone and this could be your ticket. And it was seventh grade, beginning wins, Mrs. Brown's class. And the saxophone was there. Uh, I took it in my hands and it was a different experience from the other instruments. <laughs> It just felt right in my hands, and I was good at it quickly. And I always say this to people, kids or even adults that are interested in, in finding a, a voice with music, uh, try a few instruments, because you never know which one it's gonna be. I mean, I, it was the third one for me that was really the right match. I found, I found the match in the sax, but I didn't know that until I discovered the sax. So you gotta keep pushing and find that voice, because if you don't get it on first try or the second try, it might just be on your third. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.